This video is going to walk through my power and charger bag. Uh, the intent of this bag is to be my portable way to charge any device that I have or that I carry routinely. And also it helps me help out other people who forget their charging cables for whatever the thing is. The bag itself is an Osprey powerhouse transporter. So from Osprey, it's got kind of a waterproof exterior. I don't know how waterproof it actually is, but at least it does okay with splashes and things like that. It's got an external zipper here for a small pocket and then one big, huge clamshell zipper that opens the whole bag up. Uh, so piece by piece, the back of it's got some of this, this isn't actually elastic, it's just a little bit of sewn on webbing. Useful if you wanna clip it onto something or something like that, I don't really use it much. Also there are these clips that are part of how it ties in with Osprey's other gear. So they're there, um, sometimes they get in the way, I've thought about clipping them off, but it's there. On this side, uh, the front side in the zipper pocket, I have a set of headphones. These are headphones for everything. So a set of earbuds that are both on regular standard audio connector, so which would plug into an aux cable, and then also a set on USB-C. So can use it with my phone or with whatever other device making sound. Uh, I've got both options with me. Also in this pocket is a little bit of microfiber cloth, little lens tissue. Good option to have something to keep around. In the main pocket. It's organized into two sides. So one side is just the main power bank itself. This is where, this is most of the weight, uh, and this is actually kind of the design intent of the bag. So power bank sits on this side, and then this side is all of the cables that support it. So here on the power bank side, sitting inside of this is an anchor. Um, I think this is the yeah, Power Core 3 Elite 26K 60 watt. So it is a 25600 milliamp hour battery. It's huge. Uh, it'll charge my phone three or four times at least. And the nice thing is the USB C output from this guy is really high power. So it does your 60 watt plus uh, to be able to do super fast charging. Um, can do your phone from start to finish in something like 20, 30 minutes. Um, I found from like 40% to 80% is even faster than that. So really useful capability that it's this high of power. Two USB-A standard connectors, and then power control, level control here. This is powerful enough to charge my Microsoft Surface um, or really any other device that runs off of USB-C. So pretty handy, the options are here. This lives in this side of the pouch. Small zippered pouch here, doesn't really hold much except for one of these little micro SD adapters. So pretty handy little guy to keep around. They come with every single micro SD card you buy, so you might as well toss them in. Also included in the design of the bag, this zipper pull is set up to actually house a SIM card. So for example, if you had a second SIM card, if you're going internationally, something like that, this will hold that SIM card and it's got the little SIM pin tool uh, that's the right size and you know isn't too big to cause a lot of damage. So you have that built into the bag. I don't use it obviously, but it's here and it's kind of a nice asset. In the rest of the bag, or moving over in the bag, here in the center spot, I have a right in the rain bullet pen. So just the standard little right in the rain pen option. It's nice to have around. Um, good pens strongly recommend. They are good to have. So, and that fits in here real nicely and doesn't interfere with anything else. The cable that I keep kind of pre-rigged and pre-connected is this USB-C to USB-C, uh, but it's a 90 degree USB-C on one side. The advantage in this, is as it's plugged into the power bank, it stays with a pretty tight form factor. So your phone can be plugged in and this can close up and it stays nice and tight together. Uh, the 
90 degree connector is nice so that you have a strain relief. So with any of these longer straight connectors, if you close this lid and you've got a tight bend, it does damage to the cable. So this is designed not to do damage to the cable and hold tight in place like that. So nice cable to have. This is probably the one I use the most simply because it's easy and I keep it out so it's available to me. Then, so on the cable side, the top are all the cables that I use most frequently. Underneath of that, there's a zipper and a big pocket full of all the kind of random cables I don't routinely use. So bigger cables are on the outside, so longer cables are on the outside, thinner cables, shorter cables are on the inside. So starting at this end, this is a USB-A to USB-C. So pretty standard, pretty common, uh, good length on this one. So I can get from here to whatever and I can charge two devices that are USB-C at once. Next one is a USB-C to USB-C. So this is probably the second most commonly used cable in the bag uh, that I use for my phone if I'm gonna be charging away from the bag or using it at the same time. If I'm not using it, I'll use one of the short shot cables and it stays in the bag nice and easy together. The next two cables are both little short shots of USB-C. So this one is a C to C, but it's this like weird, tough, bendy material or whatever. Um, really, these two are both to be this in the bag kind of form factor, or for if I'm connecting my phone to another device. This one's really good here in the bag. This one's good for that kind of everything else. So the GoPro connection, camera connection, anything like that. This is really great for that. Also can be used for charging if it's you know a little short shot. Works well, good to have around. I like having two of them uh, that are this size just because you use one and then the other one doesn't quite, one of them is gonna work best for whatever you're doing, and I like having them both. Moving on, this is a USB-A to USB micro. So this is kind of the smaller one that's still common on a lot of legacy devices. It was what old phones were on. Uh, use it for GPS units, um, random bits of gear here and there good to keep out and easy and able to find. Again, modest length on this, uh, good to have. Finally, here in the top is a charger for my Garmin watch. So it's a four prong, like weird little clip guy that plugs into the back of my watch. Um, this one has been super handy to have out just so that I'm able to charge my watch in the field uh, if I'm not using it at the moment. Here in the zippered pocket is everything else. So in this pocket, I've got first is a car charger adapter. So 12 volt to a USB-C and to USB-A. Good to have, uh, I like having both so it's the higher power USB-C and I don't have to use an adapter. Uh, but again, this is good to have in both options and it's nice that it's three of them. Uh, so USB uh, car charger adapter. The other car charger adapter is basically a through cable uh, and then a USB port. This is designed for my surface charge cable right here. So this cable goes straight to a Microsoft Surface charger connection. Uh, this is nice and handy because it charges pretty quick. Uh, this is one of the ways I can charge my Surface. The other way I can do that is using this guy. So this is a USB-C to, US to Surface charge connection. With the power that this power bank actually outputs, I can charge a Surface reliably. I wasn't able to do that on previous power bank options, so this one is a nice upgrade that allows me to be able to charge stuff, or to charge my Surface specifically using it. I have a regular old school classic aux cable, nice and long. Um, you don't use it that often, but it's really nice when you do if you're in a rental or a fleet vehicle or something like that. These are good to have, so I've got one tucked away. Next is the old school USB mini. So 
even less common than the USB micro these days, but there is still stuff that uses this. So a USB mini is something that I keep around and keep available, but it's in the back. It's not commonly used. I have another little short shot of USB-C to USB-A. Uh, this allows me to charge this guy, um, otherwise be an adapter so I can, you know, again, charge multiple devices at the same time. Not as commonly used, so it's kept in the back. Finally, I've got the USB-C to both aux cable output and charging output. The just aux cable is nice until you realize that you've drained your entire battery and you can't charge it. So having a charging connection at the same time as a sound output connection is fantastic. So having one of these around is essential. It fits in the back better and stays out of the way. It's the most commonly used item in the back of this power bank. So that's the summary. This is the Osprey Transporter Powerhouse. I use it, this can charge basically any device that I routinely carry, um, and it's a good piece of gear.